Will Spire Motorsports make another surprising move to potentially improve their organization? And Silly Season continues to get crazier. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything, NASCAR, wear my USA soccer jersey, it's the Olympic weekend, no NASCAR this weekend, I have a video coming out tomorrow, tomorrow night that I think a lot of people will enjoy, but go out there and support Team USA in the Olympics, even if you just like one sport or if you like all the sports. Rugby's finishing up here. I really like rugby. I'm really excited to see skateboarding. There was some skateboarding early this morning. I wasn't able to see that because it was so early. Surfing. A couple other things I'm pretty excited about watching for this year's Olympics. But let's get on to the news. If some of you may have already heard, Corey LaJoy has been let go from Spire Motorsports, these two will no longer be together. Comes as a pretty big surprise to me, maybe not to some other people, but I really expected for Spire to move on with Corey for at least another season or two because he's been kind of the base, he's been kind of the building block of this organization for the last five or six years. Some people kind of predicted this pretty early, mainly because of when they announced that Rodney was going to take over as the crew chief. For the number seven, they that's how they announced it. They announced him he's going to be the new crew chief of the number seven. They didn't say he's the new crew chief of Corey LaJoy. They said he's the new crew chief of the number seven. Well, there's two questions that really need to be discussed and answered. The first one, what happens with Corey LaJoy? I've seen all the jokes out there on Twitter and all over social media, but all seriousness... I think LaJoy goes back to the truck series. I think that's most his most likely location. I just think there's more quality rides in the truck series than there is in Xfinity. In Xfinity, you got Gibbs, you got Junior Motorsports, and we don't even know what Stuart Haas will be next year. It's going to be the Haas factory team, but we don't know how strong they might be. I just think the truck series is a better bet for him. And Corey LaJoy, even though he's losing his Spire Motorsports ride, brings in sponsorships. So I think he can land a high quality ride at the truck series. Maybe even have a shot at sticking around in Cup if he's racing for a Rick Ware or maybe another team. We'll have to see. For me, I think he ends up racing in the Craftsman Truck Series next season, maybe with a team like Tricon or Thor Sport. We'll have to see what his future is. And the next big question is, who takes over the 7 for Spire Motorsports? I've heard a bunch of drivers' names thrown out. The one I find most interesting and the one I would love to see happen is Kyle Busch move over to the number 7 from RCR. Rodney Childress and Kyle Busch, that would be a great combination. One of the best crew chiefs currently in the garage. Kyle Busch, a driver I I believe to still be one of the best drivers in the garage that could potentially help get his career back on track. And also if some of you remember, I made a made a short about this. Kyle Busch went on the Pat McAfee show not all that long ago and was saying how he was going to get revenge, get his payback on Corey LaJoy. What if his revenge slash payback was not on the track, but off the track, him knowing this was happening, Corey LaJoy getting out of the seven, then him taking his ride. Revenge is a meal best served cold. That would be some pretty crazy revenge payback. But we'll have to see. I've heard a couple people say, including Bob Pachris, that said that he's on con he's in contract. He's in a contract year next year for RCR. So a lot of people expect him to stay at Richard Childress Racing. But who knows? 
We'll have to see what happens in the future. I would definitely keep an eye on some of these young talents in the sport. Like a Sam Mayer. I can see a Corey Heim. I can see a Christian Eckes. I can see one of these drivers potentially moving up to the Cup Series to drive this number 7 car. I have thought of Raja Karuth as well. He does race for Spire in the Truck Series. But I, I personally just don't think he's ready yet. But we'll have to see. Maybe he does get the ride if he gets the right sponsorships. And Spire is as fond of him as we all think they are. Maybe Raja gets the ride. Other than those drivers I named there, honestly, I don't really see anybody else potentially making that move unless they make a complete surprise move and buy somebody out of their contract like they potentially would have to do with Kyle Busch. Or if they decide to bring up a driver or put a driver in the car that a lot of us can't really see in a Cup Series ride that potentially brings in a lot of sponsorship. But let me know down in the comments below, where do you think Corey LaJoy goes from here? And who do you think drives the number seven in 2025? Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.